Oh, there we go, guys. Got one. It's insane the amount of fish jumping this morning. It's crazy. Oh. Yeah. Hi, can I get a medium coffee with two sweetener and two oat milk? <sighs> Cheers, guys. Good morning, ambitious anglers. Welcome back to another episode. I'm Brody. Just arrived, guys, I'm a fishing location this morning. It currently is 10 to 6, very dark morning. We have an outgoing tide for the next couple of hours. In my last video, I was actually at this exact same spot, targeting striped bass just off the rocks. I had a little tumble on that video. In that video, I was planning to fly fish, but I quickly switched over to throwing some pink sand eels and targeting those stripers. But today we're back with a little bit of vengeance, so I'm actually gonna try to fish them on the fly this morning, and I have all my flies this morning with me. The only thing I'm gonna do differently is to take that little popping cork off, which I had previously set up for myself. So we're just gonna go strictly with a seven, seven and a half foot, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader tied down to a nice dark fly. So since I have all my gear this morning, I'm expecting it's gonna be a good morning on the fly rod guys for strike bass. Let's go get geared up guys. Determined to cast, destined to catch. Let's go. I gotta finish my coffee first. It is absolutely stunning out this morning. All right guys, so I'm gonna go with my nine weight Lamson Guru reel here with eight weight line. And I got this paired with a nine foot, nine weight Redditon Predator rod here. This is my fly rod for striped bass. And for my fly this morning, I'm throwing on this little Togo fly. It's got some black and white in its feathers. I got this off Amazon guys, and I'll leave a little link to where I got these in the description box below. Okay, let's get ourselves situated here. Okay, that was close. Okay, let's get ourselves set up. The tide is ripping right now. I can even feel the current going to my legs already. Crazy. Good, good cast. I will say the water is actually quite murky this morning. It was kind of like that yesterday as well. So after the fly is wet, it kind of looks like a little sand eel imitation, but it's called a Togo fly on Amazon, but it will do the trick, especially at these conditions this morning. What I do need is a stripping basket so all this line doesn't keep drifting outwards. Just heard a splash. Got one, guys. Got one. Heck yeah. Nice. Right off the bat. There we go. First one on the fly since July. <laughs> it's been a while. Heck yeah. Oh, he just ran. Oh. Gotcha. Thank you for being my first customer today. Got him. There we go. First one, guys. Right here. What a beauty. Barbs are crimped. Good little Togo fly, black and white colors. There we go. There he goes. I just swam right through my legs and went behind me. <laughs> Crazy guys. Really good start. Can't complain about that at all. Oh, oh it just popped beside me here. Bravo six. Going dog. Got one, guys. Got one. Oh, they're popping right in front of me too as well. Oh yeah, here we go. I have not gotten a big enough striper yet to put them on the reel, but I know that day's gonna come soon. Gotcha. Those are nicer than the last one. Just need to 
practice my aim. There we go. Sweet. There we go, guys. Another one right there. There he goes. Thanks, dude. There's fish being spooked down to the left of me here. Tons of fish jumping right beside me. Jumping right in front of me, guys, once again. There we go. Got him. Got him. That's the one we were after, guys, right there. Oh, bugger. Strong little fella. Good day, buddy. Holy lifting. All wrapped up here in my line. Nice and easy, brother. There we go. Nice and easy. Alright, got him there guys on the black and white to togo fly. This guy got hooked really well. Holy jumpers, let's try to fix you buddy. How in the world? This guy was not coming off for sure. There we go. There he goes. Heck yeah. Three guys. I was just exiting the water to assess my fly reel and then literally right behind me a fish busted. Yeah. Oh wow. That was such a sick take. Oh my goodness. That was so sick. Whenever they're jumping, never leave. Just cast. You never know. And this guy was determined. That was such a sick take. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah, guys. That was so sick. Oh, we just came off. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> so cool. It's insane the amount of fish jumping this morning. It's crazy. Anyways, guys, we got four on the fly so far this morning. It's just, it's been an epic morning. Cannot complain one bit. And we're gonna lose this for a little while. Oh, right in front of me, guys. Just seeing the ripples through the water. Friggin' mosquitoes, man. Bite me right through my hat here, guys. And my hair is not short, it's thick. Oh, there we go, guys. Got one. Heck yeah. Is. <laughs> nice. Oh. All right, there we go. So fun to catch these guys in the fly. That's awesome. There we go. Heck yeah, guys. Wait. There's another one there, guys, on the black and white togo fly from Amazon. False. Works pretty good, I'll tell you that. Okay, buddy. Dorsal fin's nice and high there. There he goes. Nice. All right, there hasn't been any fish jumping activity in the last say, 20, 25 minutes, guys. So what I'm gonna do is move over here closer to the current where it actually goes right out of this bridge. So uh, I'll just stay on the corner here, cast out into the channel and see if we can pick one off out there. Maybe get a little bit closer to the channel ledge.
At this point in the morning, I had another fly fishing join me on the other side of the channel. At this point in the morning, I was going to call it quits, but I decided to make a few more casts, and unfortunately, the outcome was not so good. Oh. Yeah. Ah, I just broke my fly rod, guys. I have no idea how that happened. That sucks. Wow. That is super unfortunate. Oh man. I am sending this rod directly to Reddington as it should be covered by warranty because this situation shouldn't have happened. Brutal guys, 100% brutal. Just snap after one cast. I'm like, I have no idea how that happened. That's just super unfortunate. I guess I'm gonna have to look for a new rod guys. I can't believe she broke off right there. <laughs> I'm like, I don't understand. Anyway, despite the unfortunate events, there's still fish here. So I'm gonna go grab my carbon fiber medium heavy rod and start throwing some sand eels just to play around, guys. Mosquitoes, man, they're biting my head again. Look at what, what, what in the heck? Oh my gosh, did you see that? Right in front of me, literally followed that in. What the heck? Wow, that's insane. Like, I thought my lure was just coming out of the water, and all of a sudden, boom, felt the tug. Alright, there's another one, guys, right there. Thank you, buddy boy. There he goes. He caught that just at the last second. Alright, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Not a bad morning, despite the unfortunate event snapping my Reddington Predator rod. Caught seven or eight straight bass on the fly mostly, and then one just on this little pink sand eel. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a like, leave a comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. The fall is still young, guys, for straight bass. There's lots of fishing to be had. Stay determined to cast, because you are destined to catch. See you on the next one.